Hello. In my early years, growing up in South Africa, there was a joke that was shared. I'm not sure how widespread it was, but it was a joke that was meant to be funny. Um, and people took it as funny, but actually it was the, the greatest insult that you could have given because it regarded a family member. Now this joke involved adoption. The idea of adoption is one where a child who doesn't belong to two parents um, is adopted and becomes one with that family, takes on the name, takes on everything that a normal child would experience. And the verse for this week actually mentions adoption. But the joke that uh, was shared uh, quite widely uh, in my early years was if uh, a child ever did something embarrassing uh, that would be not just embarrassing himself or herself, but uh, perhaps the parents or siblings of that family, someone in the family would say to everyone around and say, it's okay, it's okay, he's adopted. What the joke was meant to say was he doesn't really belong to us, so therefore we can, you know, we can, we can let him off for being embarrassing or her off for doing something stupid. But as I say, this was the, the greatest insult ever. The idea of adoption actually brings a lot of joy to people who are able to adopt, as well as children who have been in the foster uh, system, foster care system for perhaps years, and they've not known a, a family in a place that they could call home. So let me share with you this wonderful verse from Romans chapter 8, verse 15. The spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. I wonder if you think of adoption as a greatest insult. There are many people in this world that think of themselves as children of God, merely because we are created beings. And so I've seen it quite often where people who don't believe in God still refer to themselves as children of God. I suppose it's, it's meant to be used as something that is common to all humanity. But actually the scriptures tell us that it's by the Holy Spirit that we are made sons of God and daughters of God. We receive this adoption to sonship. Um, and sonship really is, is it's gender neutral, basically. It's a, it's a general term to apply for both male and female. But this is what's so special about it, is because we all who have been uh, welcomed into the family of, of God through the Spirit, through the work of the Spirit in our lives, we receive the same inheritance that is true for Christ himself. And that is a wonderful, wonderful truth to behold. I wonder if I can leave you with that thought just for this week. And I do pray. Let, let's, let's pray. Father God, I do pray that those listening and watching would hear your words, Lord, that you would seek to speak to them through your scripture here. We thank you, Lord, that the work you are doing in each of our lives is something that has already happened and continues to happen and is only made possible because we have been changed and renewed. You look on us, Lord, as those who have never sinned because we are justified through the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you that by your Spirit we have received this Spirit of adoption, that we can be all called your children. And so, Lord, as we go about our daily activities and recreational um, hobbies, everything that we're doing this week, Lord, we seek to dedicate our lives to you, not in a uh, spirit of slavery or fear that we have to serve you, but, Lord, we can count ourselves as children, children who you love, children who you welcome into your family. And so bless us now and in the coming days ahead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it from me. See you next, next time.